Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at a modified version of Windows 10 that's designed to look and feel like Windows XP. And while it probably doesn't look much with this installer right here that we're going to go through very briefly, wait till we get this installed because uh, this is hands down the most convincing project that I've seen yet where you could actually look at this on first glance and think, oh, this is Windows XP, isn't it? It's called Windows Experience and the latest version that we're installing here is the Freestyle Update. It's created by somebody named Travis, and it was just released a couple days ago, actually, as of me filming this video anyways. I got a few people messaging me on Twitter and sending me emails about this and saying, hey, this might be something you'd want to take a look at. You guys probably know that I've made uh, more than a few videos on this Windows customization stuff. In fact, back in, I believe, 2018 or 2019, I made a couple tutorial videos showing you how to make Windows 10 look more like Windows XP. And those videos are out of date and they have been for the past however many years, but there's still some interest in this, whether it's the nostalgia factor or just people wanting to mess around with Windows 10 and change the UI a little bit. Uh, people still want to do this stuff, and so uh, that's why I thought we'd just take a little brief look at this here. So we've just installed it, you saw the installation process, there was really nothing special about that, just a standard Windows 10 uh, installation wizard there. But once we log in, there's no out-of-box experience or anything, that's all skipped for us. And you saw the regular Windows 10 welcome screen, or the login screen rather, but here we are, and if we get rid of this network pop-up here, you'll see that this, I mean, on first glance, this really looks like Windows XP. We're gonna change the resolution here. Now, of course, it's not perfect, and that kind of goes without saying. I mean, you shouldn't expect this to be a one-to-one -one recreation of Windows XP, because the best way of, of getting that experience is just by using Windows XP. In fact, in this notes document here, Travis goes over some of the issues that you can expect as you go throughout the operating system. But overall, as I said earlier, this is hands down the most convincing XP recreation that I have ever seen. In fact, I mean, we're here in WordPad. Check this out. Like this, doesn't this look like the Windows XP version of WordPad? We've got all of those UI elements up here. The Luna theme is here. Proper buttons over here, unlike that nonsense that I had in my tutorial that were like the buttons were still the same size as the as the uh, Windows 10 buttons. If we go into the start menu, I mean, this is a one-to-one -one recreation. Uh, of course, there are a few things that are a little bit off. Uh, the highlighting animation on the right column here really gives it away, and these two uh, shortcuts up here give it away as well, but still, it's really, really close. We got the all programs pop out. You even have the like default program groups. You know, you got the games here, the actual games, like from Windows XP. They are here. Uh, we can launch, you know, let's go to games, let's run Pinball. You've got 3D Pinball Space Cadet. Although this one, it looks like, oh, look at that. Okay, so we have encountered a little bit of a of an issue here. And just close out of that. Let's try to open it back up and see if that was just a fluke. Maybe not, I wonder if that's highlighted in this document here. It is not. So yeah, that's definitely a theming issue. It just kind of looks like the, the color of the menu bar here has just taken over the entire window and the Luna theme is, is not is not working on that window for whatever reason. Every other application, at least, that I've opened up when I was testing this off camera, the Luna theme is applied and it looks uh, it looks great. We even have the Windows XP Tour here as well with the, you know, proper Flash animated version and everything. So there's actually a decent amount of applications that like the games here that are just pulled right over from Windows XP. And you might wonder, okay, Internet Explorer, is this actually Internet Explorer? It is Mozilla Firefox. You see the title bar gives it away there, but it does not look like Firefox at all. It looks like Internet Explorer 6, but you know, it's not. And I, I think <laughs> this is perhaps the best combination ever. The look of IE6, but it's not IE6. Because I don't mind the look of IE6, but IE6 itself, uh, yeah, that I, I do mind. Uh, so it is Firefox. Looks like there's an update here, actually. We can just update Firefox, why not? And yeah, there we go. We're on the latest version of Firefox. So there's no need to go to the old net because, you know, it's a modern browser. So we can just go right to my YouTube channel. We could watch videos, of course, do whatever you want. I haven't looked at paint yet. I wonder if, oh yeah, this definitely, is this the 
version. Now, you can't really go by Winver here because Winver actually spoofs the Windows version. If we run regular Winver, you'll see that it identifies itself as version 5.2. Even Command Prompt, if we run CMD here, it will initially identify itself as version 5.2.3790, but if we run Ver, it will then give us the real Windows version, which is Windows 10. 0.0.17763.1, which the keen-eyed in the audience may know that this build number corresponds to Windows 10 version 1809, or the October 2018 update. So yes, this is not based on the latest version of Windows 10. That is something to keep in mind, and that is why I would recommend not using this as your daily driver. Of course, I think that goes without saying. It's really just for the fun of it to run in a virtual machine or on a secondary computer, and uh, yeah, I still think that it's really really awesome um, if we go in here one of the things I do want to show you is the display properties panel you did see this earlier a little bit when we were changing the resolution but we've got all the Windows XP wallpapers in here why don't we set this to red moon desert we've got the screen savers here uh, the Windows logo one actually says Windows Server 2003 but it is the Windows XP logo screensaver just modified to say Professional X64 Edition, which if you haven't noticed is what the, like if we go back into Winver here, it is saying that it's Professional X64 just from the banner up here. Obviously we know that it's not, but I definitely see why the author went with that as the spoofed version name because, you know, you're going to be running this on a 64-bit computer. This is a 64-bit uh, version of Windows. Now one thing you will experience if you're in here is when you click on the Appearance tab, the Display Property panel will crash immediately. The appearance tab does not work. So you might be asking, okay, how do we change the appearance? Can you even do that? Well, yes, you can. You have to go into control panel though, and you have to click on this change Luna theme option in here. It'll bring up a command prompt window, and you have to type in the variant of the Luna theme that you want. And you've got more than just the standard three variants in here. You've got, uh, I think these are all of them actually. Uh, we can apply the Zune theme. That is my favorite. Uh, actually, I don't know. I think embedded probably a tie between embedded and Zune, but Zune I, I do really, really like. So we'll apply the Zune theme there, and there you go. So if you notice, like we go into Windows Explorer here, the uh, sidebar here does not entirely change. Normally on the Zune theme, this is supposed to be black, and you're supposed to have, I mean, the orange here has applied. Although I wonder if we have to log out and log back in. And while we're doing that anyway, I can show you the uh, sign-in screen. You see that the Windows 10 lock screen kind of shows for a split second there, but then it brings up the classic style Windows login prompt here. We're just going to log into the admin account, which has no password, and we're back. So let's go into File Explorer again, and yeah, that does not get changed even when we log out and log back in. But yeah, here's Windows Explorer. Again, very, very convincing recreation. We've got our uh, hard drive here. We can go in there. Got the default XP folder icon. We can go through here. That was one of the things mentioned in the notes document is that there were more icons added in this update to uh, you know replace the Windows 10 icons. And uh, the author definitely did a fantastic job. I mean, all I mean, all these icons in the start menu here, in control panel as well. Uh, we can change this to large icons. We even have the category view as well, uh, which is super nice. Uh, again, not exactly as it appears in XP, but it's still a very, very good recreation. One thing to note about File Explorer is that not all, well, I'll just use this window to demonstrate, I guess. Uh, not all of these menu options up here actually do anything. Like under help here, you go to help and about, it doesn't do anything. View help, I think, will actually bring up the help documentation. It brings up the what is data execution prevention page on the Microsoft support website. That's actually really interesting. Yeah, so not everything is going to actually have a function but it's just here for visual purposes just to you know complete that windows xp look let's take a brief look at media player i think this uh yep this definitely gets reskinned as well in fact this might just be an older version of windows media player i would not be surprised if it is Let's see, about Windows Media Player. Yeah, Windows Media Player 10. Oh, and look at this in the help documentation here. I found the first uh, illusion-breaking thing here. We've got a Windows 10 scroll bar that shows up on the side here. In fact, I wonder if we go into, like, I was going to say Internet Explorer, but Firefox, uh, and we go to, like, YouTube, or let's go back to my channel. I wonder if the scroll bar here displays like that. Yes, it does. Okay, so the scroll bar is just the regular 
uh, Windows 10 style scroll bar. Oh, and look at this in the start menu. I guess this is because we changed the theme, but uh, the Internet Explorer, you see we've got a bit of a line breaking problem here because the first character, the I here from Internet Explorer, on the second line appears on the first line. Same with Outlook Express here. I wonder if we change the uh, Luna theme back. Oh, and this is also great um, that this happened. When you open up File Explorer and when it's maximized by default, it will break the window a little bit. That is something that is specifically mentioned in that text document. But you see you can fix it just by restoring the window and then maximizing it again. But let me open up, say, my computer when it's maximized by default. And yeah, you see we got some more immersion breaking stuff going on up here. But again, you just restore it, maximize it again, and you're good. And just make sure that the window is not maximized when you uh, when you open it back up, or when you close it, make sure it's not maximized. But yeah, I mean, I know this was kind of just a quick little demo video, but I'm really impressed with this. I think that it's super cool. It's a really neat project, and I got to give a huge thank you to Travis for. Uh, putting the work into this and uh, releasing it out for everybody to to check out. Where can you get this, you might ask? Because I know people will ask me that in the comments to no end. I'm not going to be providing a download link. I think it goes without saying why I'm not going to be providing a download link. But if you just search around, you'll probably be able to find it. Let me just put it at that. But there you have it, guys. That is going to wrap it up for this demo video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, get subscribed, all that good stuff. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.